Hello and welcome to the GnomeCast. My name's Tarmac and this is the second video in my Adobe Audition series. We're going to teach you people how to do a little bit of audio processing. Try and make your audio track sound better going from that raw, uh, raw file that you just started with all the way to a finished product. Now, I do recommend that you start with a decent microphone. Decent meaning something like the Blue Snowball is alright. It's not great, but it'll get you some decent, qu decent quality sound. Um, Another couple of examples are the AT2020 by Audio-Technica, Blue Yeti is a good microphone, Samson CO1U is a decent mic, or maybe the Shure SM58. These are all decent microphones. If you have to use a Turtle Beach headset, then so be it. You're not going to end up with great volume or great uh, audio rather, but it won't be terrible either. Now, anytime you need to do some audio processing, of course, you got to have yourself an audio track. So we're going to record one here real quick. I'm going to play around with a, uh, a little bit of the volume in uh, from my voice and it, it'll make sense why a little bit later because we're going to do some compression as well. Testing one, two, three. This is a Adobe Audition tutorial. We're going to bring the volume down a nice little bit low, a little bit of a whisper and we're done. All right. So now we've got our audio track. The first thing we need to do is double click on it. This gives us the waveform view. The waveform view essentially is, uh, it's going to show you the noise. That's what this, this sort of purpley bit down here and, and red and orange and yellow and all that is. Um, any sort of sound is noise. Your voice is noise. The furnace is noise. The fans in your computer are noise. All of this stuff is audio. Something that can, can come across in an audio track that you're creating. Now, the slick part about this is that it shows you the noise that is ambient in the room if you record a little bit of silence before your video actually is ready to start. So we can remove this part, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Now, first of all, we've got our audio track, and we want to try and make sure that it's as loud as it can be without any clipping at all. Um, we're not going to do any amplification because we don't want distortion. But there's a function in Adobe Audition called Normalize. It's up here under Effects, Amplitude and Compression, Normalize Process. You have Normalize 2, 0, and Decibels, and click OK. Now you can see what this did is it brought the audio up a little bit, but none of it is far enough above, uh, you know, uh, above our line that it's actually hitting anything. We're in good, uh, a good standing here, so now we'll just play this back really quick. You can hear what it sounds like for our baseline point. Testing, one, two, three. This is a Adobe Audition tutorial. We're gonna bring the volume down a nice little bit low, a little bit of a whisper, and we're done. All right, so again, that's our baseline point. Now we're gonna do a little bit of editing. The first step from here is we want to compress the, the audio a little bit. So we're gonna select our audio track, the part that we want to deal with, up to effects, amplitude and compression, and dynamics processing. Now, the idea behind compression, uh, compressors and limiters, is to bring the volume more in line with itself. Um, and that may sound confusing, but if you take a look at this audio track, we have some very high volume points, some peaks that are, are quite a bit higher than our little whisper bit here. And this is a problem. If let's say you do slender videos. Now I'm not a big fan of slender videos, but I've seen a few. And usually it's a very quiet game. People are just whispering, talking very quiet. And then all of a sudden slender man shows up and they yell into their microphone and blow the eardrums out of the people that are watching their video. Not a good thing to do. So we're going to do a little bit of compression. I find that the preset for the vocal limiter is probably the best one for our, for our purposes, for just your basic, I'm recording a vocal track. Now you can play around with this one. You can put points all over the place and it's, it's not going to make a whole lot of sense to you right now, but don't worry too much about that. Again, Adobe Audition is designed as a program for professionals. It can do an awful lot more than we need it to do. So back to the vocal limiter again and apply. And you can see what it did is it didn't really touch this part at all. This is pretty much the same as it was before. But now we've got this part at the beginning that's much more in line. So the volume doesn't really change a whole lot throughout the whole track. So we're going to play it here just so you can hear what it sounds like. 
Testing, one, two, three. This is a Adobe Audition tutorial. We're gonna bring the volume down a nice little bit low, a little bit of a whisper, and we're done. All right, so now the problem that we have is that everything's just a little bit too quiet. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna select the whole track again. We're gonna normalize it one more time. And now what this has done is effectively, it's brought our low volume up in relation to everything else, but all sort of proportional. So now we have everything kind of in the same line. Uh, this is something that I've felt is important. Uh, the reason for it is I don't want anybody to watch one of my videos and then go to the next one and have to change the volume on their headphones or their speakers or anything like that. So we'll play it one more time. Testing, one, two, three. This is a Adobe Audition tutorial. We're gonna bring the volume down a nice little bit low, a little bit of a whisper, and we're done. So you can see how much it's changed over the time we've been sort of playing around with it. Um, the, the nice part about the, the compression is that this part at the beginning, it doesn't really lose any of its impact. And the same thing that, you know, if you're gonna be playing a game where there's a scream or a yell or anything like that, you don't lose the impact of the volume, you just lose a little bit of the volume, which is kind of the point. Um, it makes it a lot more pleasant to listen to. Now that we've done playing around with the volume, uh, we need to get rid of some noise. So here at the beginning, I'm gonna select the part at the beginning of the audio recording. As I said, it's always good to you know leave three or four seconds at the beginning before you start talking. And we're gonna go up to Effects, Noise Reduction and Capture Noise Print. And what this is doing is it's loading effectively the audio in here as uh, into the computer. The uh, Adobe Audition now knows what it's looking for. So we're gonna select the entire track now, back to effects, noise reduction, and noise reduction process. And you're gonna see something that looks a little bit like this. Now, what you can choose is how much of the noise you wanna remove. The more noise you remove, the more hollow the audio is gonna sound. If you go with 100% noise, and drop that noise by 100 decibels in every single point, your audio is gonna sound funny. Now, you can play around with it because of course your room is gonna have different noise than my room. Your microphone is probably different than the microphone that I'm using. Um, the microphone I'm using in particular is a Shure SM7B. Um, so what I would suggest is start to play around maybe around the 80% range and drop everything by about, I don't know, 15 to 20 decibels or so. So we'll hit apply, and you can see, if you take a look across the whole thing, there's a lot less noise that's showing up here, but it's also been removed from the middle of the track where your volume or where your, your audio actually is, your vocals. So let's play it again to hear what it sounds like now. Testing, one, two, three. This is a Adobe Audition tutorial. We're gonna bring the volume down a nice little bit low, a little bit of a whisper, and we're done. All right, now I heard a little bit of noise still here in the middle of the track. So let's go back, edit, undo noise reduction. We we'll grab our beginning bit here, capture noise print, select all again, effects, noise reduction and noise reduction process. Let's remove 90% and we're gonna pump that to 30 decibels. We're gonna drop it all by. Now we hit apply and you can see again, even less in the beginning. We'll play that one really quick just to see what it sounds like. Testing, one, two, three. This is a Adobe Audition tutorial. We're gonna bring the volume down a nice little bit low, a little bit of a whisper, and we're done. All right, still a little bit of noise here in the middle, but fairly unnoticeable. It's not something that really causes a lot of problems. So now we're at the point where you can start to play with how the audio track is going to come out in the end. All of the steps up until this point are cleaning it up, getting the volume right, making sure that your, your, uh, volume, your peaks and volume are not gonna just overwhelm your whispers, and getting rid of a bit of the noise. So everything from here on, again, we're gonna select all, and this is where you can start to play around with the sound a little bit. Up in effects, let's say you have a, a rather high-pitched voice. You're fairly young yet, you're recording some Minecraft, and you wanna try and add some bass to it. I'll pick one of the graphic equalizers, and 
let's try a gentle low boost. You might want to add some bass to your voice, and that's perfectly fine. You want to add a little bit more, you can play around with the graphic equalizer and just see what it sounds like. Every time you do any sort of changes, there's a play button down here where you can just test it and see what it sounds like. Uh, another good example of an effect that is kind of slick in the parametric equalizer, bring that over here, we have old time radio. This one's really, really neat. Let me hit apply really quick and you can hear what this one sounds like. Testing, one, two, three. This is a Adobe Audition tutorial. We're gonna bring the volume down a nice little bit low, a little bit of a whisper, and we're done. So you can see how many neat sort of effects you can come up with in this program. I mean, it, it's, that's what it's designed for. This is designed for any audio processing you could possibly need. It's not the best program out there necessarily. I would think something along the lines of maybe Cubase or Pro Tools, something like that, but those are outside the realm of what we need. So the last thing that I do to my vocals, once I've got the, the noise reduction is done, is I'm gonna go down here to Special and Mastering. And the one that I find, because I, I have a fairly bassy voice to begin with, is I do this one here called Make Room for Vocals. Now, if you have a high-pitched voice, this one may not be for you, but test it out, see what it sounds like. And in, in my case, it's just something that it seems to sound nice when I'm done with, with everything else. I hit apply and let you hear what it sounds like now. Testing, one, two, three. This is a Adobe Audition tutorial. We're gonna bring the volume down a nice little bit low, a little bit of a whisper, and we're done. So that takes us right to the end. Um, as I say, there, there are a great deal of effects that you can play around with in here. If you want to say pitch shift, uh, pitch shift is changing the, uh, the tone. So let's say you're, you, you wanna do a sort of a robot kind of voice. And what you might do is you might lower the pitch dramatically, uh, drop it by an octave or two and get a ridiculously bassy sort of voice uh, it's just really unique stuff that you can play around with. You can also do some delay or echo, add some echo to it. Um, if you wanted to try and make it sound like, let me see here, let's, let's play with some reverb. The studio reverb setting, and we're going to set ourselves in a great hall. Again, unique, unique effects, maybe not for every situation, but for some different special situations, you certainly can use something like this. Testing, one, two, three. This is a Adobe Audition tutorial. We're gonna bring the volume down a nice little bit low, a little bit of a whisper, and we're done. So we've gone from a relatively messy track in the beginning with a lot of noise on it. The volume was just garbage, it was all over the place, and we've turned it into a fairly clean track. Once you've got this done, then you go up and you save your file. And from there, now you just take that WAV file and dump it right into whatever video editing program you're using, and you're good to go. So that's all for me on this one. I'm gonna close this episode up. If you have any questions, you know, by all means, throw a comment down below. I'll try and answer what I can. And uh, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to see you uh, around a little bit more, and you can catch some more of these tutorials as I'm putting them up. I'm gonna be doing Premiere next, maybe something like Bandicam or Fraps. Um, just in case there are things that you have or want to have but don't know how to use. My name's Tarmac, and this is the Gnomecast. See you next time. Bye-bye.